What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Super Fan the Channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2, episode 17. This episode was titled Eve of the Battle. And you know what? They were preparing for a battle, just not what I expected. I expected them showcasing their powers, fighting techniques, maybe uniforms because of the opening, you know? But no, actually, what they were preparing for is saving um Urizania. Eurozania. Is it Eurozania? Like Europe? Whatever. <laughs> they were preparing to save that because uh Clayman was planning to kill the people off, gather their souls, and become a true demon lord, right? And that was within two days. The problem was getting there in time. And fortunately, Rimuru and Raphael were able to figure out, oh, it was mostly Raphael, they were able to figure out how to refine transportation magic. Yay! And then they had to sort of review what their plans for with like foul myth, western church, Walpurgis, Clayman, and um, you know, there, a lot of people wanted to participate in things. <laughs> and this was really good to sort of organize everything. So what we got is we still have the Oblo, he's gonna do the foul myth stuff. Benny Morrow is going to do the Urizania. Uh, Shion is going to go with Rimuru to Walpurgis. Veldora is going to stay back and wait to be summoned. After the plans were finalized, it cuts to the scene to the city of the Forgotten Dragon. And when I saw this, I assumed it was Clayman's domain because they show that where Clayman's army is, but it's actually in Malim's area. And they show two people who followed her. I'm not too sure what their positions are, but they are under her wing. They view her as a leader and they look like priests. One of them is called Father Madre and the other one's Hermes, I believe. I don't know what their relationship with her is, but they follow her orders. And it seems like in that area, they're providing supplies for Clayman's army. And Clayman's middle finger, Yamza, is a jerk. I thought he was going to be someone who has a strong belief, who has honor, or great leader. No, he looks like and acts like a delinquent. He's so mean and rude to Father Madre and Hermes. So one, he like crushed a fruit on um, Father Madre, and then he cuts off Hermes' arm, and I'm like, what the F? And I'm like thinking, they look like humans, but I think they're not humans, but what are they? And I'm thinking they're gonna die, but no, they can hold their own. And the Father Madre, he can use holy magic, he was able to like put Hermes' arm attached to him again and i'm like whoa that's pretty cool and i'm just like wondering what's going to happen here are we going to see more of these people more of Mal malim's whatever they are because i can't see malim being a leader she seems so free <laughs> and careless <laughs> like it seems like she doesn't want to be tied anywhere but she's she puts forth her authority <laughs> she's like listen to me or die you know what i mean or she commands dominance i'm very curious about this area i'm hoping we're going to see more i'm hoping that there's going to be some trade going on between tempest and there i don't know but for something so small this excited me <laughs> After that scene, it cuts to Rimuru, and he's thinking about the citizens of Urizania, and he's wondering how he can save them. He knows that he can transport the armies to Urizania, so he came up with the idea, or maybe Raphael did, 
Well, they came up with the idea to transport the citizens of Eurozonia to Tempest to save them. And I thought this was so smart because they're going to foil Clayman's plans to collect souls so he can become a true demon lord. No people, no souls. So when Clayman's army like arrives there, there's going to be no one to slaughter. It's going to be empty. I think that's going to be hilarious. And we got the Tempest army. We got a bunch of them. They're color coded. They're so organized. Even Xion has her own army. It's so cool. And Rimuru, he did like a massive transportation magic. Like it was huge. He had like a bunch of like uh, circles for each group. And then he did a massive one. And gosh, the effects for this was amazing oh uh, and then they had the sound effects my favorite sound effects when they do like op stuff oh, it was fabulous they had a lot of build up in this episode man i'm anticipating for next week i'm thinking next week we're gonna see walpurgis mm -hmm, because rumi is gonna go there with ramaris Mm -hmm. Ramirez is going to have her two people. Ramirez is going to have his two people, which is Ragna and Shion. And then we're going to have Benimaru at Clayman, Yurizania, foiling his plans. And then we're going to have Diablo taking the three people with Yom to the Falmouth place. Oh, a lot of stuff is going to happen at once. It's going to be exciting and that concludes my review for that time i got reincarnated as a slime season 2 episode 17 if there's anything i missed and you wanted to have been mentioned and such let me know in the comments below and if you haven't seen the episode let me know what your impression is if you want to talk outside of youtube there's a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash lehuasuperfina People who watch these videos like to stop by the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about MA, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2, episode 17. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.